Hey everyone, Brian from WorkshopAddict.com. And did you know that in the United States, the average household is recommended to have at least one flashlight per person in the house? Which, I mean, most of us are gonna say, duh, everyone needs to have a flashlight in case of an emergency situation. But most households do not hold up to that and do not have that amount of flashlights. I'm sure that you and I are not that person because we love flashlights, we use them at work, and that probably doesn't pertain to the same statistic, but Milwaukee is coming out with some new LED lights. They're trying to just dominate this area of personal lighting, and I'll tell you, they're doing one hell of a job at it. These are two of the older flashlights that they've came out with within the last year. This is a small magnetic USB rechargeable one that we keep in the shop. You see it on 90% of our videos where we need some light underneath the lift or when we're working on stuff. It is just an absolutely awesome magnetic light. We just plug it in, push it up, just stick it on our toolbox and rock and roll with this thing. It's awesome. Second, we have our USB rechargeable flashlight. Another awesome tool that we just throw in the truck. We can have it charging in the USB in the truck, all kinds of things. Absolutely love these two tools. Would not live without them. There is a USB rechargeable battery system here. We do not use this as much because we just charge those, but you can charge the red lithium USB batteries inside this charging system and pull it out and switch it into any of the other tools. Not all of these though. So let's get into what they have that's new. This is a smaller 325L focusing flashlight. It's model number 2107 and it's gonna retail for about $35. It's IP67 rated, meant to take a beating, meant to go in water, and it is two modes. 325 lumens on its first mode, and when you turn it off and turn it on again, it comes on at 25 lumens. So that means it's gonna run for about five hours on the first mode and about 18 hours on the second mode. Now, as I said before, not all these tools are gonna to use this red lithium USB battery, and this one will not. It takes three AAA batteries. You just pull out this little holder inside, and it's simple. You can change the batteries, put them back in. To change the focus on the flashlight, you just pull the head of it forward and back and it will allow you to get a spotlight or more of a floodlight, which works excellent. You have a pocket clip on the side. I think if somebody has a lot of AAAs around and wants to use this daily, this would be a great flashlight for them. It's nice and small or it's convenient to throw in your pocket and use once in a while. You don't have to have a big bulky flashlight around if you use them occasionally. It's cool. It's priced right and it's all aluminum cased. It looks like it's gonna hold up well. I think this is a great buy. Second on the list is another normal uh, AA powered Rover magnetic floodlight. This one is model number 2108. This is priced at $29.99 and it is IP54 rated. It too has a belt clip on the back. It's also got a magnetic clip. You can move this belt clip to the side and put it on something as far as metal or it can sit and be magnetized on the bottom. We love this for the lift or if you work inside cars or wherever you're at that has some metal around and you need a little bit of extra light. Two double A's in here is going to give you 300 lumens on high, which is about five hours and 100 lumens on low, which is about 16 hours of runtime. The modes are simple, push the button, it's on high, push it again, it's on low, push it again, it turns off. Very simple operation, very cool light, very similar, but yet a little bit smaller than the USB rechargeable model that they already make. This one has a clip on it, which I could see using uh, in your pocket or anywhere like that, but also to clip it on little plastic pieces when you're working underneath the side-by-side, -side, inside a car, anything like that. I like these options. I like it small size and the fact that you can put it just about anywhere and plus it's it's ip54 rated so this can go underwater i mean drop it a lot of things can happen cool light excellent price moving on we have a usb rechargeable pivoting head flashlight 
This is model number 2113-21 IP54 rated. This one's priced at $79.99. It's three modes here. So you have a power button to turn it on, which you're gonna get the big 500 lumen spotlight. If you push the mode button, you're gonna get a smaller floodlight on the bottom that is 400 lumens, and you push the light again, you will get a same floodlight on the bottom that's 100 lumens. Now this guy has a pivoting head just like its name suggests. So you can use any of those modes anywhere you want. Just use the power button to turn it off. This is USB rechargeable. So on this side, you just fold down this little flap here and it gives you the USB that you can plug into. There is a light there that's gonna tell you it's charging. And if it's battery is good or in need of charging when you turn the unit on. Very nice system that allows you to mag magnetically connect to something on the bottom so it can sit there or pull out the red lithium USB battery if needed. Awesome. I can't tell you how many times you could just say, okay, I need a light down in the bottom. I need it to be a softer floodlight. You have options here of spot or flood, and I think that just makes this thing one of the better lights that they have out there for construction, automotive, and or home use. It's pretty cool. Now I saved my most favorite light out of this group to last, and it is the USB rechargeable Rover Pivoting Floodlight, model number 2114-21, and this is $69.99 with the USB battery in it. It's three modes, so you just have a button on the back similar to the other ones. When you push it on, it is gonna come on in its brightest mode, 500 lumens that will last for approximately two hours. Push it again, it's gonna drop in half to 250 lumens, which is gonna last for about four and a half hours. Or push it one more time, it drops to 100 lumens, and will last for approximately 11 and a half hours. This guy is IP54 rated and you can charge the battery right inside this unit just by putting the USB cord that comes with it in the back. Again, the lights there. This guy is going to be perfect and in some cases take the place of one of our favorite lights. You have a magnetic strip on the bottom and you can move this light in just about any position that you want to. You can access the battery from the side, which allows you to pull out and put in a new battery if you're not charging inside the unit. I absolutely love the idea of lots of light, half the light, or a very dim, just help me out a little bit light. And being TrueView, we can see all the same wiring schematic colors underneath as if we would in normal sunlight. So we're not getting that skewed. And if you've ever worked under any of the new cars these days, you'll see a ton of pink, purple, and red that's under there, and they can look different under different lights. This guy is gonna help you out along with all the other new lights and keep that in place. Price-wise for this, I don't think it's that bad. It is nice and small and Maybe it'll come on sale a little bit or you'll be able to find it a little bit cheaper, but with what you'll use this for, I think it's absolutely amazing. And if you want to hang this light, which I don't know how many of you would, it's got like a carabiner in the back, so you can slip something in here and hang it or slide it over something if you could get something that small in there, if you're gonna hang it from a group of wires maybe on a car. I can see on a construction site, things could be a little different, especially if you're working with electric and wiring. Either way, I guess I'm almost left speechless because I can't wait to just get in and use this guy. It's going to be cool, and I think that all these lights are going to be well used, and they're priced for most people to get into them. So if you don't have a flashlight in your house and you're not the average guy, look at getting one of these little flashlights. And if you're like me and have a thousand flashlights around, just be glad you can get add another Milwaukee flashlight to your collection. I really like this stuff. So make sure that you subscribe to this channel, turn on your notifications. We're gonna do some giveaways and different stuff that are coming up very soon. We also appreciate the follow on social media. Leave us your comments on these tools. Thanks for your time, guys. Have a great day.